Capiche? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi guys, it's Ginger here, and I'm not dead. I've just been in America for the last two months, staying with my <laughs> sister and my adorable family, <laughs> who are so little and cute. Make some funny faces, guys. Be cute. <laughs> I'm going to be making a video later without these distractions. But I wanted to let you know that I'm alive, and I am doing quite well in America with my family. Yeah. yeah. See you later. Bye. Hey, I'm back later and the children are gone so I can focus now on the video. So, I've taken Charlie Puth's songwriting course, the $79 version, the smaller course, where he shows how to write a pop song. I've also taken Ryan Tedder's songwriting course, the monthly course, not once, not twice, but three times. So, I've learned a lot about songwriting. And also in the last year, I've become full-time songwriter, full-time producer, I'm recording a video. Have to go I've become a full-time songwriter, full-time producer, and full-time singer on Upwork, Fiverr, Sound Better, Air Gigs, different freelancing sites. So what I wanted to share is five things that Ryan Tedder and Charlie Puth both say. So from taking those courses, I've realized that they both say different things. They have their own songwriting methods, but I wanted to share the five things that they both say which means that they're both using these things and they're probably pretty important tips if they both use them. So number one pertains to lyric writing. It's to say things people already say. Gabe, you're ruining my video. This is my nephew, Gabe. I'm gonna have to edit this video now. So something like stop and stare, as Ryan Tedder says, which is something that people actually say, stop and stare. That's something people say, which can also be used as a lyric. Charlie Puth's example is why you gotta go and get my hopes up. That's something people would actually say. So as a songwriter, Ryan Tedder and Charlie Puth say this, our job is to say things that people already say. So therefore, when they hear your song, I guess they relate to it and they're like, wow, I think the exact same thing. That's number one. Number two is listen to people's conversations. So when you're a songwriter, a lot of being a songwriter is listening and thinking like a songwriter. So you have to get into the mindset of lyric writing so when you're listening to people talk and you hear somebody say something like, you know, why you gotta go and get my hopes up or why you gotta get my hopes up, something like that. You can listen with your songwriting ears and say, wow, that's, you know, sounds kind of cool. Why you gotta go and get my hopes up? It's kind of phrased nicely. And you can use your songwriting brain to turn that into a lyric. So stay alert, listen to people's conversations, listen to what people say, and you'll be doing what Charlie Puth and Ryan Tedder both do. Number three. When Charlie Puth starts his course and starts his lyric writing after he has his initial vibe, he immediately starts with the chorus. I myself did not do this. <laughs> I still sometimes forget. And Ryan Tedder also starts with the chorus. Why is that? Well, because the chorus is the most important part. When you hear a song, do you remember the first line of the song, of the verse? No, you remember the chorus. So while we have all this creative energy and all this motivation, you know, we have this new song, we're so excited, go straight to the chorus because that's where you're going to be the most excited, the most electrified, all that stuff. So go right to the chorus. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. Number four, when you're writing your lyrics, you want to focus on your melody first. So instead of like trying to figure out exactly what you want to say, and get it get all the wording right you want to focus on your phrasing and your words i mean excuse me in your melody so if you have these chords instead of trying to figure out what words i want to say the first thing i'm going to do is do my melody <laughs> Once I have that, then I can focus on the words. This leads us to the last, number five. And this is really interesting to me. Use fake words. So again, instead of trying to get all the words and you know the words perfect, you're gonna use fake words and focus on like the vowel sound or the consonants that you want. When I fall in, make it easy. And then it going 
So those are the five tips that Ryan Tedder and Charlie Puth both say, which means they're probably worth listening and integrating into your songwriting. Thanks for watching. If you are ever struggling with melodies, I have my 12 where I share 12 simple methods to create melodies easily without any music theory required. So check that out below. Great stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Happy writing.